from InsideTheVille.com here with Louisville Offensive Coordinator Sean Watson at the Cardinal Caravan. Coach, we're, you know, Rocco's counting down the days on Twitter. I think we're, what are we, Rocco, 87? 88 days away from uh, kickoff. Tell us how the summer's going. The players reported this weekend. It's going really good. It's, uh, it's always exciting time, you know, to get everybody back. This past weekend, the majority of... Uh, the yeah, majority of the guys actually got in. We've had a few stragglers that have come in yesterday and today. Everybody's back. We have 100% of the guys here. Um, you know, some of the freshmen are finishing up the incomings, but they'll be joining us here real soon. So it's an exciting time, I and mean, we're all excited about what you know the season holds. And you know, the prospects are obviously you know everyone's excited with the prospects that are possibilities. And guys are working really hard. There's a real excitement in the building. Uh, and with that, the thing that hasn't changed is the work ethic and the focus. So it's been it's fun getting them back because you know you kind of miss them. I don't want to, you know, you miss them after a while. And it's been we're back to football and it feels good. On your side of the ball, you have so many returning weapons. You're adding guys like James Quick. You get Dominic Brown back. Are you concerned at all that you don't have enough footballs to go around? No, you know, it's, it's, that's the challenging part for us is to make sure, you know, we spread it around. And as you've been able to see, you know, especially last year, that's indicative of who we are. You know, we had uh, 18 different guys catch balls, had 15 guys getting the double digits and uh, 15 or more. So that's kind of what we do. That's what we major in. And uh, with a guy who can distribute it like Teddy, um, it really, you know, it lends not only itself to his skill set, but also to the skill that surrounds him. And that's what gives us a chance to, to be very successful in offense. What was the biggest improvement you saw from, from Teddy throughout the spring? Well, he's, uh, you know, his, he's really, you know, took to the challenge that we issued to him, you know, uh, a year ago. Uh, and with that has come a confidence that grew throughout the season. And I think more than anything else, coming back through our winter scheme evaluation, he recognized his improvement and gained confidence in what he knew by the level of his play. And I think he's very confident right now. I think he, you know, and you see, you see him taking, uh, you know, more, more ownership in the leading aspect, which is he's always been a quiet leader by example. Now he's a, you know, vocal leader by, you know, conviction. So that's been, uh, I think, the biggest thing that you see outwardly of him. Uh, and then, you know, as far as his game goes, you know, we've taken some detailed things, uh, you know, quickening up his release, uh, which is already really good, but, you know, making it a little bit more compact and, you know, always working on his footwork, which is something that a quarterback always has to do. And he's embraced all those things this, this winter or this winter and this spring. And, you know, evidence on film, he's, he's really, he's done a nice job. You had, you had a good running back duo with Sonoris and, uh, Jeremy Wright last right. season. I think Dominic Brown adds a little bit different, different qualities. Dimension. Yeah, different dimension. He's, uh, you know, we really missed him last year because with all three of those guys, we would have had, you know, Sonaris, who's a finisher, who's a, you know, he's a guy that, you know, can make a lot of people miss, has finishing speed. Jeremy was a slasher. I mean, he gets in seams and gets north and south fast. And Dominic's a physical presence. So Dominic is uh, brings that, and that's what he did this spring. And he's he's in great shape. Um, he is he's I think more than ever before. He's really the thing you see of him. He's he's playing with a confidence that he didn't play with in eleven. He was good in eleven, but he now has a confidence and a feel for the position more than anything else. So he really, I, you know, what you saw of him in the spring game is what he's like. He's a great, I think he'll have a great year this year. Bridgewater's got so many weapons on the outside. You had a guy like James Quick. Talk about what maybe new dimensions he would add to the offense. Well, he, he can touch the ball. James is a guy that can play in the inside, outside lanes. That's easy because of his speed, but he also can go in the inside lane. He has size and he has the agility and the quickness Plus, he can handle the ball so many different ways. I mean, he can be a running threat, uh, you know, on sweeps and, you know, reverses and those types of things. And he can hurt a defense with those plays. So he brings the unique ability to play both inside and outside lanes, but also, most importantly, you know, when we create other touches outside, you know, traditional receiving roles, catching the ball, handing it to him. Um, 
he in bubble screens in the screen game, I tell you, you know, he's yeah, he'll be a force to be reckoned with. So that's what he brings to the table. Sean, a final question for you uh, regarding the offensive line. Do you feel like you've got five guys to start fall camp with? Are you pretty yeah. solidified on that on that offensive front? Yeah, we we have. I feel we feel like we really actually have you know six guys who are at starter level right now. Ryan Mack had a good spring. He really, you know, he started off well. Uh, had a little bit of a law midway through, a little bit of transition because we did some switching around in the line. But once he got homed in on it, he ended on a very high note. Um, Nacho uh, Garcia did, you know, he he's growing in that position. He's still learning the position, but he's growing in it. Uh, we feel good with his progress. Uh, during the season, he did some really unique things for freshmen, but really feel good about where he's headed. And Cam Joyer. Um, you know, really nailed down an inside spot this past spring. So uh, he's he's playing a very high level for us. So with all three of those guys coming through, we kind of knew what we were going to get in Cam. But you know, rolling off the injury and seeing his consistency in spring has been you know is big.